Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a fundraising video to use on GoFundMe. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Having an eye-catching video can really grab people's attention, which is important when you're trying to raise money for a cause. Doodly is a great way to create videos because it's easy to use and you can easily tell your story with the help of graphics, animation, narration, and music. It all starts with an outline and you can see here this is mine. And what I'm going to be doing is using the actual text here as subtitles today. And today it's going to be a little bit different. I already have the video actually created and I'm going to kind of reverse engineer it for you. So let's take a quick look at the video itself. You will see that my scenes had that little red bar with the actual subtitle. So how did I do that? Well, if you go into scene settings, you have this little subtitle section right here and you just copy and paste or type in your text. Now by default, it's black. So this is what you see by default. And I opted to go with the red just to make it stand out a little bit more kind of match the little color scheme that we have going on. The next thing I wanted to point out, this here, these hands and the text, that's an actual scene right here. It's this one. So I didn't have to do anything fancy to get all of that. I just grabbed the scene. One of the things that's a little tricky is when you go to put it in, if there's already a scene there, which there was because I have the house and the character, it wants to absolutely replace everything and that wasn't going to work for me. So how did I get this scene on top of my existing content? Well, it's really easy. You just, you add a blank scene, you go ahead and put it in, and then you copy and paste it. So you use Control or Command A to select all, and then Control or Command C for copy. And then you go into whatever scene you want to put it on. Let's just put it here and then Control or Command V to paste. And then you just put it right on top. And that is that. Then of course you delete that unwanted scene. Now on this particular scene, we have a picture of Mary, our elderly neighbor. She's fictional, of course. And the image fades on. So it doesn't scribble on like it does by default. It just fades on. <laughs> And you'll see it was a real quick fade, a half second. See right there, half second. So how do you do that? Well, you go to the little pencil icon and under reveal mode, you can choose between draw, which is that little de default scribble, or fade. And I really like the fade effect for photos. And then these little hospital bills, they popped on one after the other. How do you do that? Well, that's super easy. You start with your first one, in my case, I had the hand draw it on. You don't have to have that happen. And then you copy and paste it multiple times. Now on the copied images, they have a delay of 0.5 seconds and a zero duration. And so that means that a half a second goes by before the next one just appears, and then a half a second, and then a half a second, okay? So that's how they kind of pop on one after the other. We could take a look at that again if you'd like. Now on this scene here, instead of having a subtitle, head and used a speech bubble. I thought that would just give it a little more visual interest to have 
that and that allows me to be you know it's kind of like i'm talking off camera saying she's a sweet kind person blah 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 and we can still see her cute little face here i did something similar on this very end screen but i also had if you go to scene settings a subtitle as well so this is you know telling them blah 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 blah, blah and then here's me anything you can help it's greatly appreciated now over here in our middle scene we have a whole bunch of bills and you'll see they don't do anything fancy they're all just on there when the scene starts so there's no delay and no duration they don't draw on or anything they just exist and then after a second after we see the bills for one second then this plain rectangle draws on. It's just a white rectangle with a black border. And the reason I did that is because, you take it away, look how cluttered that is. It's so busy. You can't see the house. You can't see the text or anything. And I just think that looks a lot nicer to have that there. So it has a one second delay and it just takes a hand one second to draw that on. Then we bring in the house and Mary and then the, the words saying, hey, come on, let's help her out. And then finally, I added a music track. You go down to sounds and I just picked this one any minute now. The length was great for the length of my video and it just worked fine. I did turn it down a little and it was still awfully loud. When I played it, you might have noticed that. So I, maybe I'd, I'd turn it down even more. And you do that just by clicking the little speaker icon and adjusting it. Now I opted not to do a voiceover for this and the reasoning is with a GoFundMe video oftentimes people put them on social media sites and well how do people watch videos on social media? Oftentimes they have their sound turned off you know maybe they're riding a bus or something and they don't want the other people around them to have to listen to it. So that's why I opted to go with the subtitles to tell the story visually rather than through my voice. One final thing to note is that when you want to put this video on GoFundMe itself, you need to first put it into YouTube and you're going to copy and paste the YouTube link to GoFundMe. And that's just how GoFundMe handles videos. And that's the basics of how you can use Doodly to create a fundraising video for a site like GoFundMe. I hope this gives you some ideas and thanks for watching.